Well, my, I threw up in the bushes and then I passed out. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Somebody found you or how, what happened? Yeah, my neighbor found me. She put with a lady, the little, she's 82, she thought I was dead. Okay, I mean, we have Eileen here today. She here. I haven't seen you like over a year. Yes, yeah. I saw you at the party. Oh, at the party? Okay. Party, yeah. Oh, okay. At the shoe drive, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll be back again in June, God willing. Okay, we're going to do more shoe drive this year. So now she got some nail problem and then really big cows over here that we need to take care of. Can't and you put some kind of cream on to soften it? Right now? Yeah. You could, but it's pretty soft right now, actually. Yeah. So actually, if it's too soft, it's hard to cut too. Oh, really? I put coconut yeah. oil on because it's. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I can tell. It's it's pretty soft. So you did a good job, getting it ready for me. So we're gonna cut these, and then you have, you've gone through some um, trauma. To tell me about this. So you you got into an accident. Yeah, well, I saw him, and I was on the sidewalk, and then for whatever reason, the guy got back in the car, and decided to leave or something, and then I'm I'm screaming, stop, stop the car. Oh, he didn't see you. No, he didn't see me. And I was further up on the sidewalk, and he hit me. And I thought my, I thought I had a broken hip. And he, it hit the scooter, threw me to the ground. Oh, and I wow. Yeah, thank God that guy in the gym came out of nowhere to help me. And, but I really thought I, I broke my hip. Really? So what happened? So you were taken to the hospital? Yeah, they cleared me of everything. But I, I still have a sore hip. But when I was mm. in the hospital, they gave me that Norco. Oh, my God, he gets so constipated. Forget that. But anyway, yeah. so, um, and then about, I don't know, four or five days later, I was at my mechanic and I don't feel good. I'm going to go home. I, I threw up in the bushes and then I passed out. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Somebody found you or how, what happened? Yeah, my neighbor found me. Out. She put with a lady, the little, she's 82. She thought I was dead. Oh, she really? She found me non-responsive and, and on the ground mm -hmm. near my scooter. So. Then you were taken to the hospital? Uh, they, took, they took me to the ER and, and put me in the ICU. Really? So what did they find out? I have cerebral bleed on my brain. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So what happened? How did they stop it? Well, they had me on a, I'll show you a chart. They had me on an drip and... Mm-hmm. Ay, ay, ay. That's terrible. So how long were you in the hospital? I think I was probably in there from about the 30th till about the 11th, I think. Mm-hmm. And then I went to like a rehab place and... Mm -hmm. oh, that place was crazy. I mean, one night... I thought these two were married. There were two patients fighting in the room. I said, I got to get out of here. Really? <laughs> they're fighting? Yelling and screaming. And, I mean, they're they're, so they're, they're, they look like they're a married couple? I thought they were married couples. Yeah, I can't get their ass off. You didn't get sleep. But they were not? No. Oh, really? <laughs> no sleep and the food was terrible. The only good thing is I lost some weight. I probably lost about 18 pounds. Really? <laughs> you lost some weight? They haven't heard of MSG or this. Oh, most of it. Uh-huh. Wow. But I am grateful and I am thankful to be home. But Right. So what kind of problem do you have still? Well, the neuropathy. And they say I have high blood pressure, but my Dr. Ginsburg really, I have to go back and see her. Do you know who Ohu Ginsburg is? Yeah, yes. I know I know Dr. Ginsburg, yes. Wonderful lady. But anyway. Yeah, they're very nice lady. She's um, very thorough, but, you know, so I haven't, you know, they were giving me some medicine to eat in the, in the hospital for a while, but I have, my blood pressure has been fine. It's been like about 120 over 70 to 80. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then you have problem walking? Is oh, it yeah. is it affected your so oh, what I have horrible neuropathy now. I can't walk without my Moses stick. Oh really? You never had neuropathy? Oh, yeah, I had it, but not like this. Not like this, got a lot worse from the accident? I think so. So are yeah. you be, are you being followed by another doctor about the your your brain issue or Yeah, I see the I'm seeing the neurosurgeon and I see another neurologist on, another neurologist I know out in um, Fullerton. Mm-hmm. But he's the one who first diagnosed my neuropathy mm -hmm. way back when. But it's really gotten bad after all this. And, oh, the brain parts are horrible. Oh, yeah. But he's giving me that brain, you know, that 100 minus 7. It's okay, when we got to 60-something. So, okay, I'm done. We don't want, I don't want to do this anymore. But I felt I got really good care. I, just, I don't want to do this again. Right. So are you doing therapy or what are you doing now? Well, I have a physical therapist coming, but I feel like he's not very healthy. He then comes up once a week. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I want to get back to being able to walk. I don't think I'll ever be, they're going to let me ride a bicycle again, a two-wheeler, but mm. I'd like to do a granny bike. So I'm going to go back to the VA. I saw them yesterday, and they gave me really good care when I was there. Really? What, what, what were their plans? 
Well, I'll probably have it. I have to go see the physical medicine doctor to get back in it, but um, mm -hmm. I can go like two or three times a week. Yeah. Are you able to walk quite a bit or no? No, not really. I have to walk with a big stick. Mm -hmm. And my balance is awful. Yeah. You have to be careful not to fall. I'll it's a big problem. Thing. I'll show you the little chart real quick. Okay, relax this one. I remember you told me about something when you had the back surgery, how you developed the neuropathy. And, oh my gosh. Well, I was paralyzed. Um, this was almost eight years ago. I broke my back years ago, probably in my Taekwondo days or my Jiu Jitsu days. I used to teach martial arts and I didn't know. I didn't know my, I had a back problem until it collapsed one day. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then I was paralyzed. I couldn't move, I couldn't uh, walk, I couldn't get out of bed. So I had to recover from that and I did it through walking. And obviously I had to drag my feet, right? Imagine a foot doctor coming to a, an office, dragging my feet, and all the all the patients looking at me like, "What? What's the, what's wrong with this foot doctor?" Right. So, but over time, I, I got better. I, I improved, and I walked. Well, you're my inspiration. <laughs> inspiration. Yeah, but you you have to strengthen your muscles. That's oh, I that's know. something that people don't realize. And you have really flat feet. You see, when you're flat footed, then you don't have balance on your on your feet. And then that affects the rest of the body. So you need a good support, right? What you have, right? Do you have some support in your shoes? Well, I'm gonna get some other ones because uh, it's hard finding something. Yeah. It's been hard being wet, wet, wear something because the, the toes are all messed up. I may have the foot surgery again. I had this one done in March and I have to do the other foot, but I, I'm gonna see how the balance stuff goes. So I might do, wait till, I was gonna do it in March, but I said I might wait till the end of June to do it. Yeah, you may have to wait longer because of your other conditions. You want to be stable, you know. This is an elective surgery, so you have to make sure that you're well before you have the surgery. But, um, yeah, the rehab is a great idea. Um, your goal is to be able to walk, you know, a lot more. And then to do that, you need to, you know, strengthen your, your muscles, right, on your, on your body. You have this huge cows over here. Right here, so I'm gonna, which I'm gonna clean up right now. So, so you, you, it looks like you found a good physical medicine doctor. Well, she's at the VA, but the, I like I like the people in the rehab there, the PT. But this guy, he only comes up once a week. That's not that's not helping me. No, really. No, I'm not real happy with this. So I said, you know, when I had the knee replacement, it was about uh, three or four four weeks before they you know, before they sent me to the big house, and she came three times a week. Uh huh. But I didn't have that nice little scooter. I had that little Charlie Brown walker, and she'd take me out walking me, and it helped me. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you need to kind of, do you have pain when you walk right now or no? Just sometimes. numb. Oh, sometimes? You kind of have to walk through the pain in the beginning because that's what I had to do, right? Because I was in a lot of pain. So, you know, obviously because of the pain, I didn't, I didn't feel like walking, but it's something I knew I had to do. So I would go out and drag my feet and just keep walking through the pain. Yeah, like tomorrow, then, today I'm going to call my, tell my neighbor, I'll, if she gives me the big broom and the rake, I have a big trash can tomorrow, I'll, I'll do some of those leaves just to get my exercise. But I can't, I can't go outside, I have a big Moses stick, like I'm going to park the Red Sea. Oh, really? <laughs> but I can't go without it because my balance is, it, is so is bad. Is it gold-plated? No. <laughs> in fact, a week ago I fell in the backyard because I didn't have it with me, so I thought I could oh, take really? the dog. Yeah. Thank God I'd fall in the dog, dude, but I had to crawl to the patio to get up. Oh, is that right? Oh, boy. I have like, one of those little alarm things, but I don't, I don't have it on. But it's just been... It's been rough. So I'm going to tell the guy, you know, thank you, but no thank you, because he's not helping me. Yeah. But you have to be consistent. Consistency is the most important one. Because what happened is that... Let me raise your table a little bit. Okay. So you have to be consistent about, you know, getting out there and walking. No, I am, but it's just, it's just been very difficult. I live by myself, can't even walk my dogs, and... Oh, really? My poor dogs were home by, them, by themselves for almost three weeks. They, oh, the little spider is going potty in the bedroom. He just, he's not supposed to do that. Oh, really? Wow. How many dogs do you have? I have a little little terrier from the pound, about 30 pounds, and I got a, about an 85-pound Akita. Mm-hmm. Wow. So it was stressful for them, too. It was just, oh, my God, I'm going to do this. But he said, I, I, I should never have one of these things. I said, thank God. Are, are you able to walk your dogs now? No. Oh, no? So nobody's walking the dog? 
No, this lady said she was going to send me a dog walk for somebody I knew from St. Mary's because of the some stuff, and she didn't come here today. But I'm going to call her today and ask her if you want to come after the first of the year. That'd be very grateful she sent me somebody. Yeah. You need to get out there and walk more. When You don't have to walk, like, long distance, but divide them up and do it, like, often. And you got to build your strength of your legs. Do you belong to, a, like, a gym or something? Or? Yeah, but I haven't gone yet. Okay, well, that that's something I would do if you can. Well, my neuropathy is too bad right now. I'm going to wait. Get, hopefully in a month I'll be able to go back to it because I really like going doing water aerobics in the pool. Oh, yeah, that'd be really nice, huh? Well, yeah. I'm not kidding, but, but, you know, it was over. Well, I was, in, I was in that bed in the ICU over a week, so you never got up. So one day my uncle took me to lunch and his daughter, and oh, I could hardly walk, and I said, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And then finally, I left early. I didn't sign out of any money. I said, you, you aren't sleeping here? I said, I just I need to go home and have a good night's sleep. I mean, sometimes I'm so tired by 5.30 in the evening, I go to bed. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's tiring. Yeah, but I, I think you're on the right track. Just do it little by little. Get your strength back. Get back to the gym. Walk your dog. That's, That's what I want to talk to you about. Hopefully, I don't get this yet, but then you tell me about when you broke your back. Yeah. Well, I broke my back years ago, which I didn't know. One day it collapsed, I was, and I was paralyzed. So I had to recover from it, and they wanted to do surgery. I didn't want surgery. So I had to do it on my own. So I was in a lot of pain. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't work. I couldn't do anything, so I had to like really push myself to get through the pain. So yeah, but uh, very important to walk. If you can walk, then almost all musculoskeletal problems will go away. So that's what I realized. And I wrote a book about that, right? It's called The Walking Cure. It's gonna come out soon. I've been working on it for several years now, but. Am I hurting you? Sensitive. sensitive, huh? So definitely I highly recommend people to walk. I was walking about five miles a day. So I divided my walking into three different segments. About 30 minutes in the morning when I woke up and then- Did you have to walk by yourself or did you have to walk? You walk it. No, I, I, I was able to walk by myself. I didn't use a walker or anything. But I was dragging my feet, you know? And then I can't I, do it because of my balance. That's why I, still, I, I still have had my little red block. I still have my scooter. Right, yeah, you need some kind of assistance. For me, I I, I just was in a lot of pain. I, I didn't, um, I was able to walk without any assistance, but I was dragging my feet, obviously, right? So I walked about 30 minutes after lunch and then 30 minutes when I got home. You okay? That's okay. I'm okay. Well, I don't, don't want to do it. I like moving target. <laughs> See? I like it when you move it. I have to follow you. It's, it's not so hurting sensitive. you, right? No, you're just so sensitive. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm done. I'll not do anymore. Okay. I'll put some more emotion on when I'm Okay. I'm a good patient. <laughs> okay, I know. How about this one? Let me do a little bit, okay? Let me get the, just get the rough edges off, okay? It's okay if you move, though. I'm okay with it. It's very sensitive for whatever reason. Yeah, it, no, it's a neuropathy. Neuropathy makes it very sensitive. So it's not only it feels numb, but it makes it hypersensitive. You know what I mean? It's one way or the other, you know? Now you know why I told Dr. Neil, I just wish I had syphilis and forget all this stuff. Really? <laughs> that's that's a problem too. Really? Yeah. That sounds terrible, too. All right, you did I very... I see him on Monday. He doesn't know about any of this. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I haven't seen you over a year, so... You went through a lot. Let me show you my... Okay. So... Hope you get your strength back and be able to get out and walk your dog and all the other things, okay? Here's the aftershot.